Welcome to Spotlight and it's a doozy for the gents this week. Hugh Jackman doesn't know how to let things go and take his L in the sci-fi thriller Reminiscence. We head over to Nollywood where millionaire sweet boy Q is scammed out of his millions in Quam's money. And as always, we have awesome competition giveaways. Hey guys, it's your girl Caleb Prince. So you know how people tell you to never look back, your best years are still to come, that sort of vibe? Yeah, no, Hugh Jackman takes all of that and he shoves it in your face in the new movie release, Reminiscence. He plays the character Nick Bannister, who is a scientist that discovers a way to relive your past. And he uses this technology to find his lost love. But plot twist after plot twist, he finds out you don't really know anyone truly. She has moved on, and you should too. People don't just vanish me. You think you want answers? Well, you don't. Where is she? Where is she? Even though Hugh Jackman is the lead character of this film, he's anchored by very strong female characters. His lover, played by Rebecca Ferguson, that dribbles him like they're on the soccer pitch, and his best friend that quite literally saves his life, played by Tandy Newton. Spotlight chats with Rebecca Ferguson, who plays May in the film, as she speaks about her role and what it was like working with Hugh Jackman. For me, the first thing that I fell in love with was that May was portrayed in so many different ways because she has to play so many different roles. She's portrayed through other people's ideas of her. And when Hugh and I did um, our scenes in The Greatest Showman, there was such instant friendship and, and connection. Nothing uncomfortable, um, automatic boundaries. And I said, I want to go places I haven't been before. I want to be able to go to those broken moments, to those shades, to those, the cracks. Mm -hmm. um, and there is no other person who I have worked with who I would feel so comfortable. The new animation of the week is a Paw Patrol. So if you're a parent, auntie, uncle, guardian, whatever it is, if you've dealt with kids, you've had your fair share of Paw Patrol. And I feel like let's all bite the bullet one last time because Paw Patrol, the movie, is so freaking adorable. Our fate is in there. Pause. A dog? Actually, sir, I'm a puppy. That's even worse. You're in shock, so I'm not gonna take that personally. The mayor of Adventure City is the villain of this movie and he just starts wreaking havoc on the city. And that's where our cute little pups come in to save the day. Played by a surprisingly really awesome cast with actors like Tyler Perry as Gus, Marseille Martin as Liberty, and Kim Kardashian as Dolores. Go and watch the movie, if not for the banging one-liners and catchphrases, and there are so many one-liners, so many. I promise you, you will have a great time. Now showing on Netflix is the Nollywood movie, Kwam's Money. And we love celebrating African content and Kwam's Money is no different. The movie follows the journey of a security guard turned millionaire, Sweet Boy Q. This type of deals are not for just anybody. He's scammed by a female fraudster out of 500 million Naira and he goes to extreme lengths to get his money back. Filled with unexpected turns, we watch Sweet Boy Q spiral from greed back to humble beginnings. So head over to Netflix and watch Quam's Money. It's competition giveaway time and this week we're unleashing three Paw Patrol movie merchandise hampers. So this week's question is which actress voices the adorable Liberty in Paw Patrol? SMS the keyword spotlight and your answer to 41742. Competition ends midnight on the 25th of August and as always, T's and C's apply. Coming up next week, Liam Neeson might be an old bully, but he's an old bully that's going to kick your ass as we have a look at the new movie release, Ice Road. This is personal. Now I'm angry. We have reached the end of the show, so follow us on our socials for the latest updates on all things movies and series here on Spotlight. But for myself, Colette Prince, catch you next time. Goodbye.